in, they, they see our few little fridges and they see what ingredients on the menu. There's no lying. I'm Jonathan Tam, the chef and owner of restaurant Yata in Copenhagen. I don't have a secret test kitchen or storage space or extra prep kitchen, everything is here. And we wanted it to be that way, because if we're going through the trouble of figuring out what is in season, getting stuff fresh on the day, people should see that. But usually each course we do or dish is reflecting one main ingredient. We need that to come through, and that's what's important for us. Before we think of a cool technique or the cool plating or how it looks, it is about how it eats, what is the flavor, how does it come together, how does the supporting components bring out elements of that main ingredient. It's a fun process now, because I think before we were having less intense flavors, but now we're trying to find a way to learn to balance it. Uh, so we can also create something new on the palette, but then have the main ingredients shine as well. It took quite a while to think of a name for the place. For so long uh, with Sarah, I was saying we'll never give it a Danish name because I'm not from Denmark and I can't say the words. Uh, but then one day she's like, what if we called it Yatak? That really resonated with me because that was coming here when I first came to Copenhagen. That was the first word I learned being in the, in the kitchen because that's how we answered. Instead of saying, yes, chef, you would say, yatak. And then as I got settled here, living here, you learned all the different ways the word was being used. You could be very polite. It's like, would you like a glass of wine? I'll be like, yatak. Or it's like, I'm really hungry. Let's go, let's go have dinner. Let's have a night. He would say, yatak. So then, uh, and then that was kind of fun because it was about the feeling and hopefully that's how the guests feel. They might come in here a bit more calm and polite and kind of, settling in and then gradually hopefully by they leave they're very excited and just wanting to have more so again it's not kind of reference any specific cuisine but hopefully more how the people feel when they come and leave the restaurant the biggest goal that becomes its own thing so that's uh, that goes back to that question of what do you cook or what is a food at yata i can't say it you know and all the places i respect i can't put in words on what they do you know it's just that is what that place is. You have to go there and try it. So hopefully in a few years, we will get to that point.